Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Azula with another new video. As we have started CSSF 2016 tutorial series, and this is our lesson 26. And in our previous third uh, 24 lecture, I have just shown you that how we'll design slab, flat slab, and also different types of slab with um, column capital and uh, after that i have shown you that how will design isolated foundation and also how will design combated foundation and in this lecture i'm just going to show that how will design a raft foundation okay so here uh sorry a strap foundation this is a strap or cantilever foundation so in this lecture i'm going just going to show that how will design that actually why we use that uh, strap or cantilever foundation in our construction because of to balance our load okay to balance our load we just use that suppose uh, here that foundation are big and that foundation are uh, small now if we just want to balance or that both foundation then we'll provide a beam on it okay so this is known as a strap foundation suppose uh, here soil are not so good and here soil are more good and also here here uh, we just want to use some a small foundation as per our design requirement or as per our land requirement and here we can use the large foundation so in that time we'll use a strap foundation to balance i mean to transfer that foundation load to here okay so uh, by this that way we can use here the a small foundation okay so let's uh, start and uh before starting i'm just requesting you that if you're new here you can watch our previous video that full playlist are given in description and also if you're a civil engineer then don't forget to subscribe to our channel because this channel is for you and uh, press the bell icon for next full update now first of all i will open our css safe software so here i have uh, already done a work here actually but i will not use that work i will just start from beginning okay so i'll just close that no then First of all, I'll open CSS Safe Software. Okay. Now here we'll go here for new model. After that, there have two option: single footing and combined footing. Okay. But I'll go here for blank. But before that will go design code i'll consider that design code and also you can select design code according to requirement after that i'll go here design parameters before uh, selecting design parameters we have to change or we have to select our units okay current unit is matrix so here if we come here this is the help uh, unit us unit and here matrix unit so i prefer to work in matrix okay so if you want you can use us default so and also you can change here according to requirement okay what you want actually so I'll just not change anything okay and here is the decimal place actually also you can change that according to requirement now I'll just click okay now I'll go here the design preferences so click here and from here uh, I'll just recommend you please do not change any data from here because uh, this data is as per the design code your selected design code now I'll go here for minimum cover slab okay for minimum cover slab I'll just provide here 75 millimeter clear cover and 75 millimeter clear cover and here bar size I'll just provide bar size 12 okay 12 mm bar size and layer B and it's, it's 2 way actually why we're providing 75 millimeter course we know that here uh, the minim, uh, minimum covered slab actually here slab that slab will work as foundation okay 
Perkett Workers Foundation and this is directly exposed or directly connected to earth. That's why we have to provide the large clear cover. It's 3 inch or 75 millimeter. Now we'll go for minimum cover beam. So similarly, we'll also provide here for uh, beams because of course we have to connect two foundation with a beam. So that that beam also will be connected with our uh, earth or soil. So we'll provide here 75 and here also 75. Okay, then preferred bar size here we can uh, change the bar size this is suppose 40 mm first time okay and for share it's 12 mm it's done so it's done and here for post tensioning so we are not working for post tensioning we are working for non ps test reinforcement or cast in situ reinforcement sorry uh, reinforced concrete cement now i'll press okay and i will and also you can uh, click here project information so here by clicking here you can give project information actually in my previous every video i've shown you that that's why i'm not going to show that so i'll just from here i will just start from beginning level that's why i'll click blank now here um, first of all we have to define our different types of materials properties right so I will click here add new materials property and here F prime C okay and I will give that here it's concrete okay F F C prime it's concrete and uh, I will consider it that 20 megapascal okay 20 megapascal concrete I'll consider that I'm just considering 20 megapascal uh, concrete because I just don't want to change any data from here but you have to change your data from here as per your requirement okay as per your requirement suppose if you uh, consi uh, consider that or you if you get your data from af I mean after completion t uh, test of your concrete that um, it can bear or its value is 24 or 30 megapascal then you have to give it the 30 megapascal and poisons ratio also you have to give here the poisons ratio and the modulus of elasticity okay this is the most important uh, terms modulus of elasticity and here you have to give that data as per uh, in newton per millimeter square or in megapascal but here if you see here weight per unit weight okay weight per unit weight volume so here also you have to give the weight per unit weight volume so this is actually here this is the unit weight 2.35 here 2.35 kilonewton per meter cube this is the unit weight of concrete volume so i'm not not going to change that and this is for 20 megapascal concrete let's say i'm also not going to change that but if you need to change that then as per ACI code sorry as per ACI code, just see here, here is the equation in megapascal unit. You have to use 47, I'm sorry, 4700 uh, square root of FC prime, and that FC prime value will be in megapascal, and here 5700 root over FC prime. This is in PSI. So when your data is in PSI, then you have to use that formula, and when your data is in megapascal then you have to use that okay actually here uh, fc prime is the 28 days compressive strength so after that it's okay and also if you have lightweight concrete then you have to give her the factor so i have no lightweight concrete this is plain concrete or normal concrete so okay after that i will select e steel f y i'll consider 500 megapascal bar okay and from here i'll select a river and uh, it's done and from here i'll give her 500 this is our yield strength 500 and our minimum tensile strength i will just consider 600 i mean 600 actually you will get that data from your tensile strength test of the river okay 
you'll get the data from there and you have to input that data and also unit weight this is the unit weight of our unit weight of our river so here it's okay and also the modulus of elasticity I actually the modulus of elasticity uh, of river is uh, 2 lakhs okay 2 lakhs uh, megapascal but uh, here also it's 2 lakhs that's why I'm not going to change that that press okay then okay after that we'll go for slab properties okay as we're uh, using here uh, I'll, I'll just define slab properties so actually it will be footing footing and first of all I'll consider footing as 250 mm okay it's 250 mm and from here slab I'll consider the footing so this is footing type it's footing and the materials we have to select FC prime equal to 20 megapascal right so if it's done now I'll just click OK after that again we'll uh, define our e stiff I mean the column is stiff okay this is the column is stiff this is column is stiff okay actually here I'm considering our both slab thickness is same that's why I'm just uh, uh, sorry I have uh, both foundation thickness are same that's why I'm considering that one data for both foundation thickness footing thickness is 2500 mm okay and uh, here also the column is stiff and from here we have to select the is stiff 2500 mm then click ok then click ok so we have uh, defined our foundation properties now we'll go for beam properties called we cause we'll provide a beam we'll uh, provide a beam to connect our two foundation so I'll click add new properties so from here I'll select beam ok beam with 250 mm depth 250 mm into into 200 0 ok this is our our actually we can use Two hundred fifty, two hundred fifty into two hundred fifty of cross sectional uh, beam. So from here we have to select materials. This is FC prime, and from here river materials. From here we have to select five hundred megapascal also five hundred megapascal, and from here we'll select rectangular beam, and our data is two five two five zero and bottom width two five two five zero sorry two five zero and our, our depth also two five zero so it's done and from here from here actually we have to use that option uh, design dimension for analysis property data okay sorry uh, planes dimension okay it's done and if you don't want to design that then click here no design but I will design that okay so it's done actually okay then press okay here I'll also go for something I'll just take that or that materials poverty is right or wrong so it's okay and for column stiff it's also okay okay so it's done now I'll go for subgrade soil properties so I'll just click and modify so from here subgrade soil properties I'll consider BC bearing capacity and here I'll just give a subgrade soil properties data here actually so actually in my every tutorial or every video I have just shown you about this formula so if you knew her you can uh, watch our previous video for clear understanding 
I'll just request you please watch our previous video for clear understanding and you will be clear so for mat and raft this is 50 mm allowable and for isolated footing or isolated combined net is rough this is 25 mm and uh, actually I'll consider that our soil bedding capacity is 200 kilopascal and our allowable settlement is 25 mm that's why our uh, the value of subgrade soil modulus will be 800 kiloton per meter cube actually uh, i'll request to please watch our previous video for detailed information about it that link is given in description so 800 i'll give her 8000 kilonewton per meter cube so i'll just click here okay then okay it's done so actually uh here i just want to one thing here uh, after a design i'll just check that parameters our punching shear check should be less than one our uh, pressure under footing that should be 200 kilopascal and our deformation under footing should be 25 millimeter okay then it's okay and it's not okay then we have to further change our model so in our next video I'll just show that how we'll define our load properties and also how we'll model and I'll go for design. So thank you. Thank you very much. If you think that it's helpful for you, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first. So thank you. Thank you very much. S12. Stay connected till next video.